Praise the Lord. Good morning. Let's listen to today's devotional by Pastor Benedict James. I bring greetings once again in the majestic and marvelous name of Jesus Christ. Well, the topic for today's devotion Doing God's will is the greatest blessing. There will be no regrets whatsoever. Matthew 7:21 Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. We are never to be rebellious or slow to submit to God, but we must be sure that we have done all that we can before we fold our hands and say thy will be done there come many many experiences however in which we can do nothing and can only submit we must not only ourselves strive faithfully in all the things to do the will of god but must suffer it to be done in us even when it lays us low in the dust even when it strips us bare and shatters all our happiness this will is to be accepted too not rebelliously with murmuring and complaint but strongly joyfully and lovingly god can do wonders with a broken heart if we can give him all the pieces without holding back then god can do wonders with a broken heart if only we can give him all the pieces without holding back The will of God will never take you where the grace of God will not protect you. I repeat, the will of God will never take us where the grace of God will not protect us. So, the best way to be protected from all trouble and heartache is to allow the will of God in our lives. How it can be fulfilled? How is it possible? Simple and challenging, but exciting to implement. Number 1, God reveals his plan through the bible that bible be a compass and guide that the word become our breath and life what of god says in psalm first chapter and his delight is in the law of the lord and in his law that he meditate day and night and whatsoever he do it shall prosper which means including the trials challenges and difficulties that we encounter when we meditate in his word god will fulfill his plan even in the thick and thin of our lives help us lord to keep thy divine word always in our mind and heart to know your plans for us and also to converse with you in prayer regularly so that you direct us with peace with decisions we take we break any other thoughts and any wicked plans uh, which try to crop in to be crushed in your divine name in jesus majestic name we pray amen Thank you for listening to today's devotional. God bless you. Have a blessed day. And always remember, Jesus loves you and cares for you.